Hi, I'm Thomas, the founder of Smart Air. I'm going to show you today how to assemble your DIY cannon. Now, after you open the box, first there are these two feet that are in there. Then, obviously, you've got the fan. And then inside, there's a little plastic bag that's got a screwdriver in it. So first, let's take the screwdriver out. First thing we want to do is get rid of this black uh, this net sort of thing, the grate in the front of the fan. So I'm gonna use this screwdriver to undo these four screws that are securing this sort of black screen here. All right, after we take care of those screws, we can take this black screen off. Now, you might want to throw it away, or if you want to use this as a fan in the summer, uh, you might want to keep, on, uh, keep a hold on this little screen there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the legs on. Now, one of these legs has uh, sort of a flat end on it. Now, that's going to go in the front. So I'm going to secure that on the front here. Now the other leg, you'll notice, is a bit rounded. So we're gonna put that one on the back and we're gonna make sure that the angle of this rounded so sort of curve is gonna be the same as the curve of the fan. There we go. Now once you've got those legs on there, you can stand it up. And back in this bag, there's four screws. You can take these screws and use those to secure the legs. I'm gonna skip that step right now, and I'm gonna go ahead, after you've done that, I'm gonna show you, you can open up the HEPA box and take out the HEPA. Now the Canon HEPA, on the front side is the HEPA material, on the back side is this coarse pre-filter. That pre-filter you want facing towards the fan, like that. And then finally the box is gonna have this Velcro strap in there. You're gonna use this to secure the HEPA to the fan. It's usually easiest if you do this while the cannon is pointing up, so you don't have to hold the HEPA. Now one mistake that I see people making sometimes uh, is to give this a death grip, to make this, this strap super, super tight. Now you don't want it to be so, so tight, you just want to make sure that the HEPA is secure uh, and then it's not going to move, uh, but you don't need a death grip. Alright, after we secure this HEPA, you're ready to plug it in and you're ready to go. Uh, I hope you can breathe safe with a cannon. Thanks.